even if they have sex or never have sex before, right? Every month, right? You confirm scared you got a pregnant. If statistics was like only a 50% thing, right, I would avoid sex until marriage. But if it's going to be four years down the road, I'm not waiting. Of course. Are you st- how irresponsible are you? Oh, Say that until you get one, one, one. What do I do if my boyfriend doesn't want to have sex with me? John, I'm over here. This is your daily catch up. Can I just quickly bring out someone that needs romance advice? Who? <laughs> Not me. So, uh, hi all. Hi all. <laughs> this person is looking for some advice because they are really stressed about this. Female and boyfriend have been dating for more than three years, but they have never smashed before. So the female writes, we initially didn't do it because we were afraid. We were, get, we were very worried I'll get pregnant if the condom breaks or the pill doesn't work. So my boyfriend just went ahead and said, ah yeah, the best way is just to not do it at all. With the boyfriend? <laughs> You know the, <laughs> the forehead. Okay, okay. Okay, and then- We can, we can redo it. Okay, never mind. Before you guys start. <laughs> I thought you were going to do it with me. <laughs> Not them. <laughs> Before you guys start, I do believe my boyfriend is physically attracted to me. Oh, okay. Insecurity. Yeah, okay. We have done some physical stuff, but just didn't reach like the smashing Heavy part petting, yet. That's nipple all. tickling. That is also sex lah. He is also very physically affectionate with me. Always hug and kiss me, that kind. And grab boob. No, she didn't say that. Huh? But he probably did lah. Okay, anyway, I've been trying to convince him to at least do it once or twice. Now with modern inventions, I believe we can be very careful, but he just won't budge. Wait, 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 wait. If she doesn't believe in the condom or the pill, what modern inventions are there? Pull out. <laughs> <laughs> the modernness the, of all inventions. Like the, this one. What is that? Like the hook. The, 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 like the hook IUD, in. Uh, the uh, hanger in the vagina, that one. What yes. is that? It's like this metal, like hook. So you, when you put it in there, it blocks the, it blocks the cum. Sounds painful. Wow. Okay, anyway, so she says she feels very morally dispirited and it has caused me to question if maybe I'm just not what he wants in a partner. I'm not looking to find another guy just to smash or bang. Could anyone give me some advice for this? Thanks in advance. <laughs> Kim, literally. Get it over and done <laughs> with. Him. What do you mean? He said no though. Yeah, a consent. <laughs> <laughs> this is not the asshole situation. Say no. <laughs> he at first said, never mind, we just don't do at all. Are they virgins? If they were both virgins, I can understand why. Mm. Because maybe he's just very hesitant or he don't know what to do, never do before or all that, right? The hesitants just stretch out for very long now because this, they, they are definitely <laughs> because- Unless <they're> vaginas. <laughs> <laughs> Because there, there are people who are just like non-confrontational or just avoidant in general. So they just mm. cannot bring themselves to. I feel like it could be something else also. Like we did talk to Dr. Martha about like, I think when people grow up their whole lives masturbating, they get so used to it that they prefer masturbating over sex. No, but this one never even try. Yeah, but it could be that like, ah yeah, if she already says she's scared about condom and then maybe like it plays in his head or so and then you go, ah yeah, I can just eject him my own mouth. Like it's such huge problem and I love everything else about her. I don't need the sex to make it happen. How did y'all overcome the fear of get like getting pregnant? You ask amazing questions. That's uh, great. I feel like even if like I am abstinent, mm. <laughs> You're gonna trip and fall. I still, still no, I feel like, no, I feel like every girl, right? Even if they have sex or never have sex before, right? Every t- every month, right? You confirm scared you got a pregnant. Never had sex, right? He's like, I still scared like How? my menses. Like like I Like never the menses never come. No, I think you scared yeah. your period never come, but it might not be due to pregnancy. As in Because it could be you got problem, right? Yeah, no, but I feel Coconut. like even if you do other things that don't necessarily like it's like you never put in or whatever, mm-hmm. you just like making out a heavy petting, right? You still like a bit scared, man. Right? Like somehow, right? The, some some sperm will go inside. <laughs> <laughs> then I feel like every month everybody like, yes, I'm not pregnant. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know about the sex havers out there, right? I believe the pros of sex outweigh the the anxieties of 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 pregnancy. No, you don't no. say that. Oh. You say that until you get one other one. Oh. one. Oh. If the pull out and the condom like statistics was like only a fifty percent thing, right? I will avoid sex until marriage. Ninety nine percent. Those are good numbers. <laughs> it's damn scary. Like when when you're not ready, there's so many aspects to think of. One is like, okay, I need to be able to be able to be financially ready, and that's the mm. most like 
Okay, it wasn't yeah, really yeah, yeah. a huge problem for me, but I think it's the disappointing your parents and your family. And then there's the religion aspect if you're really religious. And then yeah. it's the, oh my God, do you keep or abort? And even having to like, like weigh that like ethical dilemma. And then there's all these things and the financial aspect and you go, <gasps> just avoid sex lah. No, but it's already this. Okay, okay, okay. I'm assuming you're already taking all the, the necessary steps already. So obviously, okay, okay. say you want to hook up with this person or blah, 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 blah right? Mm. You discuss already. Okay, if say you're really gonna pregnant, we agree, you agree to abort. You all have the discussion before sex. Thing. Of course, are you, how irresponsible are you? <laughs> no, no, I don't have sex. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, not my choice. If you have, if you have all those discussions already, right? Then you are going to pull out, you are going, or you are going to use a condom or, or she's taking the pills. Like it's one of those, Options you don't need to, right? <laughs> then, then what's the point? Uh, but <laughs> the more the merrier. But you know what I mean. So then, with all that in place already, how does it's okay, right? <laughs> you know, I have a I have a friend who oh, nice. she don't believe in she okay if the guy come inside. Whoa! And then she was like, like, I won't get pregnant. I won't get pregnant. Then it lasted for years. Like this method somehow. Without right? like she plan B. Yeah. Some girls just wait. She never pregnant. take pills. No. Like, huh? like, she just, I don't know. She just likes the warm feeling. No, she like, okay, what? Like, no, she said like, maybe as long as you pee after it, like nothing. That's, you, that's yeah. UTI, that's UTI. No, so I then what? Then what she she just never got pregnant. Yeah, and then- Has she made she John not Paul? Set, man? No, and then one day pop baby. Oh. Uh, <laughs> no, but that's still crazy eh. You is, 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 yeah. is it, is it they, they only come mm-hmm. inside when they are, when there's like some, you know, the period the thing got like, oh, yeah. I, I right think, after I the period, then you can, yeah. During the optimal time, she just whatever like that yeah, don't yeah, really yeah, care. Yeah. But then eventually one day, poop. Wow. Or maybe she just had sex during her period. Confirm can't get pregnant. Did she keep the baby? <laughs> the ah, yes. face. <laughs> Got to go. Yeah. Okay, question: Is it okay for the girl to break up with the boyfriend because of this? Of course. Okay, eh? yeah. Of course. <laughs> Yes. Are you crazy? No, no but then he, no, I, really, I really love you. I really love you, but I just don't think that we need to risk it all. No, but, but then you are missing such a huge component of a relationship. Yeah, come no, but after marriage, can ma? Oh no, you don't want to f- No, but maybe she, <laughs> she, maybe she don't want to get married. Yeah, it's the same thing for a lot of other things. It's for example, if he wants a kid and she doesn't, or like she, she wants to own a home, he wants to rent. There's so many like different aspects. Mm. They're just not aligned. She's so patient. And I feel like her patience could be better applied to somebody else. Who wants to have sex? Aging, instead of waiting for somebody to- <laughs> 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 no, I, feel like she, I feel like if she want it that badly, right? Then maybe they can come up with a solution like, come hey, on, why don't you wear a strap on? So it's like not your penis, but it's a fake penis. But then you are not look at me, so I don't know. But based on what she described, right? I think they do other things, right? Yeah. It's just the they penetration. Can, then they can so, do this thing, ma. So to me, right? I think honestly, right? It's okay, right? I think if you die also don't penetrate, doesn't mean that you cannot enjoy everything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it could be that it's more than just the penetration though. Cause there's obviously a very emotional element to sex. sex. And so then it could feel that she's already <laughs> at a stage where the relationship is going somewhere and she needs that next step with him to feel an even more emotional connection that they haven't yet. It's almost like when you have sex all the time, you might experience, uh, you might experiment with something. To them is that the experiment is actually sex. So it's more than just, Sticking something in. <laughs> I need to have a light at the other tunnel. I need, I, I need a, a flashlight. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I need to have a timeline to say like, okay, then when is it appropriate to have sex? After and if marriage. Too, she says she don't know. <sighs> hey, that's, that's not concrete enough for me. Uh, no, but why? Why, why? why is, you get to do everything. What if she's willing to blow you to ejaculate? Yeah. I need to know the why, why she don't want to have sex. She just, if it's, if it's, a, if it's something that, she Christian, she wants to say for marriage. Yeah, but if it's going to be four years down the road, I'm not waiting. <laughs> why, 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 why? <laughs> <Surgery. laughs> it's just she don't want you inside. Everything else, okay. Everything. <laughs> no back side. <laughs> no back side. <laughs> <laughs> Boobs, okay, no back side. Okay, can. There you go. Okay. Easy. Yeah. Must see your deal breaker, man. There's no way I expected the conversation to go. <laughs> <laughs> Jared and his rules. Okay, at least that is what you expected well, the conversation to go. Then. I very, I very okay one. <laughs> Like honestly, to me, um, sex is just one element of a relationship. Mm. I feel like at the end of the day, yes, there's an emotional connection. You can find it from other areas, like having a really good chat. Um, and I can, if it's about ejaculation and you're super horny, I could always just drag myself up. Or she can do it for me. Like if it's one element or the other about sex, it's replaceable to me in other areas. 
not so important to penetrate the vagina. But do you all think that is reasonable of a of a partner or somebody you are dating to to kind of like take oh. that away from a relationship? Because in in my to, to me, sure. It's a, it's a no go. No, but like sex is part of a relationship. But where did that, did that expectation come from? It's that's not an expectation, uh, but it's what I I want in a relationship, uh. Yeah, so that's, that's your expectation, expectation, right? expectation uh, of <laughs> what a relationship entails. Then then that's my expectation, <laughs> no? <laughs> <laughs> no, because like 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 just bring it to like different examples, right? Yeah, like yeah, yeah. maybe you are dating someone who doesn't eat meat and you love to eat meat, then there's also a misalignment because right? you really want to go high tea lao and you also- But really I'm not going to her. impose me eating on her. We can still live the way we want to without uh, without her having to eat meat. But when it comes to sex, it's a two player game. No, but it's it, it will affect your lifestyle. Right? Because for example, say you really love steak and steak houses, if you want to eat a non meat meal, it's a salad, it's set. So Wait, why you don't want me to have sex? <laughs> okay, okay, no, but I'm saying that if you would apply that same like concept to other areas, you might still find reasons to stay with a person if you love them enough, or find reasons not to stay with them if you don't love them enough. Wow, wow, you recently into this, uh? <laughs> <laughs> into this framework, this this structure. No, but is sex not part of a relationship? Is physical intimacy not part? No, of I it? agree that physical intimacy is, but there's so yeah. many ways aside from penetration. Yeah, so you've got everything but penetration, okay? No, it, it, so that's that. But I also think that a lot of the expectation is from media, it's from peer pressure that we realize that physical intimacy or sex is important for us. Because I think 100 years ago, 200 years ago, when religion was the main way of like living life, I don't think it was important for a lot of people. And I think when they did do sex before marriage, they felt super guilty about it. Um, the other flip side is that I also know a lot of couples today who eventually got married after 10 years of being together, who've never had sex until <laughs> marriage and they make it work. I do think that there's some form of like an intrigue or a different kind of excitement in like not giving everything to your partner. So in the sense that like, yes, you know that there's a so-called light at the end of the tunnel as Jared mentioned, right? Like say when you get married and then so say if you engage in other forms of physical intimacy, yeah. but then you say you reserve penetration for like after you get married. Reserve penetration I feel like that is like the same move. as like, while you share as much as you can with your partner, keeping that bit of like mystery uh, to yourself, right? And all that, I think still like spices the relationship. Uh, something look forward I think to. if the intention is that and you're both agreeable to it, mm. sure. Mm. If it's, in any case, if it's weaponized, then 100% no. Of course. Mm. But I think at the same time, the, the reasoning is so important because all aspects of sex, right? It's it's the two of you kind of like exploring, it's experimenting, it's doing all of this together, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. It's yeah. a space that you all share. There has to be a very good justification as to why, because to me, that is you taking something away from a relationship. Mm. Mm -hmm. I, I, I see what you're saying, but I think to me, it's like how much time relative to your entire relationship, right? Do you actually have, uh, do you actually spend having sex? I mean, it depends how long you can last also, <laughs> la, right? But say if it's like, you have sex twice a week and that you last maybe 10 minutes, that's 20 minutes a week max, right? That is a lot about my ability to hold my cum. Uh, but say for example, is it not more important to have compatibility instead uh, of the types of movies you like to watch? Because if you say you watch two movies every single week together, that's four hours a week. That's way more time spent together having sex mm. in your relationship. Like if you have a pie chart of mm. time spent in your entire relationship and what you actually do, sex is actually quite a small component in terms of hours spent. But maybe for John Paul, it's like half, no? Cause he has like five hours sex <laughs> rampage. Yeah, he can't get it out. No, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm more curious to how you bring it up to your partner. I think sex comes up very fast. Naturally. In, in, in terms of conversation about it. Like how? In you have la. sex often like that? <laughs> <laughs> how many partners? No, you, you can ask whether your what like your libido or this kind of thing, ma. Like huh? high or low. Like your sex drive high or low, that kind of thing. I'm quite open about or that. Or like the by the third date. Wow. Maybe Earlier. even before. Oy. Before they even meet. So if I see that this person is like, wow, same level as me, then it goes then then after that I might even we might even talk about like what we like or don't like prior to it, ma. Mm. So that you know like the boundaries or you know what the, the preferences. Mm. Yeah. No, then then it moves there already, ma. Because I, I feel some people like sex. It's just that not they will not bring it up so easily so and openly, casually, uh, ma. Maybe they feel like, oh, maybe only when we together, then I okay to share. Yeah. But then during the dating phase, I I, I don't think I heard any of my friends like 
hey, you you have sex before? They talk about sex with the, <laughs> What's the date your body already. Count? Mm. I feel like you just bring up, but that's why she said joke and see how she reacts to it. Mm. And then if she goes, oh my God. That you can't say that. Oh, why don't we bring up? <laughs> they just have to show this to their date. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh my God, oh, they, play, they play with you rather than and, and US whispers. <laughs> Maybe you, you all can help me fill in the blank, right? You <laughs> cannot... Conflict, compromise, chemistry. Mix no, up. no, like, like, like. Why is all start with C? Calculate, right? Like, th- like quantify. You cannot quantify the 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 twenty minutes of sex. It's like that because yeah. to me, those are two maybe very intense moments of intimacy that you're having with somebody versus mm. watching a movie. Yeah, mm. and and it's just different. So I feel like you cannot just measure that. There's twenty minutes of the the time spent with that person. I, I agree, but it goes down to what your expectations are from a relationship because two people might enter a relationship and sex is not important at all to them. So mm. then that quantification is mismatched because if one person really likes sex and the other person doesn't like it at all, how they value sex for one person is super high, the other one is low, then it's really a mismatch to begin with. Right? Mm. You, you shouldn't be together. I have a friend who I respect quite a lot because she and her husband, right? Like throughout their dating phase of five years, right? They have not kissed. <gasps> they have not hugged chest to chest. They only hold hand and then Side it is only on forehead. Then only on the Wedding. proposal, they kiss for the first time. <laughs> then they miss lah. Mm. Or oh got drool and saliva no, everywhere. No, like, like a pet for the first time. <laughs> then wow. I just thought like, wow. them cute because they both have the same like values, right? Then yeah. they really wait until the moment they are together, then they... Wow. It, okay, so I think there's a different, there's a slight difference there, right? Because we still don't know. Sounds nice, but... Is sex something that they want to have in the in the relationship? No lah, as in I just say, because some people really, they, their values so strong, right? And a lie that they okay to- Yeah, to, it's alignment. To both yeah. 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 So I mean, in this example, I think there's a misalignment law. Yeah. Mm. And they yeah. can say like during the five years, right? Actually, it's quite hard for them because, right? Sometimes they do feel like, I want to kiss this yeah, their yeah, partner. Yeah, yeah. Like they want to show affection more. Uh, physically, ma, like even hugging, but then they know that if they hug, right, like maybe the body contact will cause some so sort oh, of- Yeah, when slow. you say value, what value? Like where is the value abstinence in withholding so? religion? Abstinence. Yeah, so what is the point of abstinence? As in they are religious, so they believe that they don't want to think about this kind of like sexual things and focus on the relationship <laughs> wow. mm. outside of sex mm. before they get married and d- decide to consume it, their marriage that way. La. But she told me, I'm like, huh? Like, Cause she say right, every time she hug right, she also want to hug the person properly Tightly, and yeah, really yeah. touch. But then she know that maybe in that body contact right, they'll think of things like impure thoughts. Like, yeah, that's so impressive. Yeah, but they really the like framing of it is something that I cannot understand. Eh. Physical intimacy is what a sin. Like how 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 is no, this? No, it's not a sin. It's just that like temptation. I think people who are really kind of, just hmm. like we consider like our bodies like sacred. Temple. Sure. Yeah. So then like, it's not, if you consider something that is pre- that is precious to you, right? You don't just give it out to anyone. You don't leave your front door open. But you just- <laughs> <laughs> But it's just their choice though. So I think if their partner wanted to have sex early, right? That would be the deal breaker already. Yeah. And plus there's an additional danger that you end up wanting to propose and get married because you suddenly cannot fight the, the lust, right? And you're like, okay, I need to do it right. And now it's for the sex and realize like, f- maybe you rushed it to getting No, married. but then after that, there's the engagement encounter and all that. I think with a lot of religion, like quite a lot of the things were because back in the olden days, it was just trying to avoid a lot of problems. So like back then there was no contraception. So like religion say do this so that we don't have a outbreak of like teenage parenthood. Yet the baby boomers exist. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're going way no, like, we're we're like way thousands way of years okay, ago. Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah, in the villages of baby Jerusalem. Boomers. Like, yeah, it was important to be able to create a moral structure that like a rule book so that people weren't becoming teenage parents. Yeah. So we're applying concepts from uh, about 2000 years. No, I'm saying I'm like, realistic. Yeah, the, no, that's actually that's what we're doing. What happened. Yeah. Yeah. No, but as in, I don't think that the solution to, how to say it? like the unhealthy expressions of their sexual desires. I think the solution to me is just like a better understanding of why abstinence uh, is the way instead of the opposite, which is now I need to embrace sex. Yeah. You're feeling obliged to have it. Yeah. Or, or rather focusing on other parts of the relationship and building a strong foundation there so that sex is not a distraction. Mm. You are not together just cause the sex is great. Mm. Mm. Yeah. But I wonder also the amount of couples that after that they get into a relationship then they, re- then they realize that they're so sexually incompatible, right? Yeah. That it really affects the relationship. I wonder- But Dr. Mata say no such thing. 
oh. can figure out one. Oh, okay. <laughs> Call her, then. check out the previous episode. episode. <laughs> Well, it's just them seeing if like you marry already, right? Then after that, then you, then one person just like, hey, actually I'm okay to not do it. But the other person is like, oh, actually I won. Wow, mm. I waited my entire mm. life for this. I feel like I'm getting there, yeah. Huh? I feel like my sex drive is so low that I have to constantly remind myself to be a good husband sexually. <laughs> 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 okay, thank you. I hope that you have gotten some good advice from this. Comment down below if you want us to give advice or other things. Okay, we'll like, share, subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. What they got, baby? Ma. No, is it low comparatively or is yours just low? No, la, la, it's low. La. It's not no. No, no, no. It's, low, just, it's low, not no. No, yeah. but no crime means, doesn't mean no crime. You have to force yourself. <laughs> no, 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 no. Obviously no not force. No, no, we'll cut this out. No, no, no. Definitely not. <laughs> <laughs>